it doesn't matter if you're shooting with a kit lens like this 1545 from Canon APS-C or a more pro-grade zoom lens like the 24105 or the 24 to 74 full frame because at one point all of us photographers and filmmakers will make the decision to shoot with prime lenses and in today's video I would like to help you understand which prime lens you should get first or which prime you should stick with as your normal uh, focal length. Stay tuned. The reason why I'm making this video is because I experienced this decision myself a few months ago. So I would like to share with you the process how I choose my fixed uh, prime lens as my to-go lens. It has been two years since I started photography and filmmaking and yeah recently i had to choose one fixed focal length to stick with for all my projects and yeah basically i did it already in the past because that was already my favorite focal length but i was always bringing with me more prime lenses because uh, uh, considering different situation i could have been uh, i was maybe going to swap the lenses but at the end of the day i never did it i was always sticking just with the prime lens in my case i love to stick with the 35 millimeter focal length and the specific uh, this one this is the zeiss 35 millimeter f2 absolutely beautiful lens i think is my most beautiful lens in my kit and i have like four or five other 35 millimeter focal length uh, lenses but it's not about this lens specifically or the focal length, it's about the selection of your favorite focal length. And the selection of your favorite focal length should come from yourself without any type of influences. For example, I see many YouTubers or influencers that are saying that you should buy the 50mm or the 85mm for portrait or the 35mm for all around lens, but uh, I think it's wrong. Uh, you should choose personally the prime lens you want to stick with or you want to buy first uh, because you should think about the perspective that you love the most. Another common mistake that I see really often is to advise to import all your pictures in Lightroom and see the most used focal length based on your kit lens. That's totally wrong because uh, when you have a kit lens the chances are that you are taking photos considering what's convenient for you and not thinking about the perspective that you love the most. There are projects where you want to shoot wide, medium and close up with different perspectives, but uh, I think it's better to stick just with one look because that will give you your look, your style. And with a zoom lens, uh, uh, when you shoot a bit with 24, a bit with a 50 and a bit with a 105, looks like uh, those pictures and, or clips are taken by different uh, filmmakers or photographers. But how to choose your favorite focal length and then your prime lens? It is pretty simple. It can be a little bit time consuming, but I guarantee you it will be totally worth. It doesn't matter if you're a wedding photographer or portrait photographer or uh, all around filmmaker, landscape photographer. Uh, it's about uh, the look that you love the most. So you should put all your best picture in a folder and then you start to look at your pictures one by one. Uh, you should spend around two, three seconds for each picture. But when you see a picture that let you trigger your brain and think, oh wow, I love this picture, then is where you find your favorite focal length. Because the chances are that the picture you're gonna stare for longer time are the pictures taken with that determinate uh, prime lens or fixed focal length that uh, you love the most. Once you determinate your favorite focal length, you should think about what's convenient for you. So in a way that you can bring your camera always with you without uh, stressing uh, yourself too much. And that's caused mostly by size and weight of your camera system. So for example, if you compare these 35 millimeter lenses, the Zeiss, uh, uh, f2.8 and the Zeiss f2 as you can see there is a huge difference in uh, size but also in weight I think this one is uh, three times no a bit less than three times lighter than the f2 version but uh, because I consider this uh, f2 version still tolerable because of the size and weight I prefer to stick with this because I often shoot with just a natural light 
and having a faster lens will make my life easier because I don't have to bring with me a lot of lights or light modifiers. And consider also that this is still a big and heavy weight lens, but it's not even close to the size and weight of a Sigma Art 35mm f1.4. That lens is huge, it's really heavy, and I wouldn't really use that extra stop of light uh, because yeah, if you focus manually with your lens, it's totally impossible to nail focus at f1.4 and I also don't really love the look of a super shallow depth of field because you don't really see what's going on in the back of your main subject. So in my case, the 35mm f2 is the perfect match for myself and to make your life more simple, you have to consider that a normal set of prime lenses is generally based on four primes, for example, 24, 35, 50, and 85. There are different sets of lenses that you can build, but you should consider the wide angle and the medium telephoto lens in your kit. So for example, if you love to shoot with the 24 and 50 or the 35 or 85, by the end of the day, you can pick one lens in between those focal length. For example, between the 24 and the 50, there is a 35. And if you love to shoot with the 35 and the 85, the 50 sits uh, exactly in between those uh, two focal length. So basically, you can do almost everything just with a 35 and a 50 millimeter focal length. Also because you want to have a consistent look in your pictures and videos without having a uh, weird uh, zoom ranges that uh, will give you a weird identification as a photographer. So the point of this video is that you should do what you love to do without thinking about rules. Because of course we should all know the rules about photography, uh, composition, uh, all that stuff, but rules are made to be broken. This is a common aspect of art. It doesn't matter if you are a painter, if you are a graphic designer or a musician, a filmmaker, photographer, it doesn't matter. People will love your craft because that's how you see the world and how you want to represent it. But this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Ciao.